Choo Choo, welcome aboard the Wisdom Wagon for Kids, where every journey sparks inspiration. Today, at the Motivational Hub, imagine a boy sitting all alone in his room in South Africa. Around him, the world was loud and unkind. At home, his father often shouted. At school, he was bullied and hurt so badly once, so that he ended up in the hospital. But inside his mind, something magical was happening. He flew past clouds, past the moon, and all the way to Mars. That boy was Elon Musk. He wasn't a superhero. He wasn't the strongest or the fastest. But he had something special, a dream that could not be crushed. Instead of giving up, Elon escaped into books. He loved science fiction, stories about spaceships and other worlds. He read for hours and his imagination became his best friend. When he was just 12, Elon made a video game called Blaster and sold it for $500. Can you believe that? While other kids played games, he was making them. Even though life felt hard, Elon kept learning, kept dreaming, and kept building things, even when nobody else believed in him. In his teenage years, Elon worked hard. He even chopped wood at a lumber mill, but he never gave up. He moved to America, where dreams come true. He studied physics and economics, and in 1997, he was ready for something big. Elon applied to big tech companies, but they ignored him. He got accepted to Stanford, but dropped out after just two days. Why? Because he wanted to create something the world had never seen before. He took a chance, and it changed everything. Elon and his brother started their first company named Zip2. They had one computer, no money, and slept in their office. They showered at the Young Men's Christian Association. Most people would quit, but Elon kept going, even when it was uncomfortable. And guess what? In 1999, Zip2 was sold for $307 million, and Elon made $22 million. He could have bought a mansion, a golden bathtub, or a chocolate fountain, but he didn't. He used that money to build again, because he wasn't chasing riches, he was chasing a mission. Next, Elon started an online bank called X.com. People laughed at the name, but Elon saw the future. X.com, later become PayPal, and soon Elon was the CEO. But while he was away on vacation, his own team voted to replace him. That's right. He was kicked out of his own company. It was a painful betrayal, but when eBay bought PayPal for $1.5 billion, Elon received $250 million. Still, he did not walk away to relax on a beach. Instead, he set his eyes on the stars. In 2001, Elon got very sick with malaria. After weeks in the hospital, he made a decision. No more vacations. Life was short and he wanted to help humanity. That same year, he started SpaceX. People laughed again. You build rockets? But Elon believed. His first three rocket launches failed. Money was running out. Everything seemed lost. But he kept going. And on the fourth try, the rocket worked. NASA signed a deal. And Elon's dream of reaching space was no longer just a dream. It became real. While building rockets, Elon also took on another wild idea, electric cars. He joined a small company called Tesla. People said no one wants cars that don't use gas. But Elon did not listen. He worked day and night, even when people doubted him. And guess what? Tesla became the top electric car company in the world. Elon showed that clean energy could be cool, fast, and fun. He wasn't just changing the way we drive, he was saving the planet. Wait here, young champs, do you know that? Even with all his money, 
Elon lives simply. He sold his fancy houses and sometimes sleeps in his factories. He wears regular clothes and says, Nobody should work harder than the CEO. His goal is not comfort, it is progress. Today, he leads SpaceX, Tesla, Starlink, Neuralink, and even a tunnel digging company called The Boring Company. He is also trying to give internet to the entire planet. Elon works like he is still trying to prove himself. He has made some sudden decisions, like firing employees overnight or challenging another tech giant to a cage fight. He is still healing from childhood pain. He is not close with his father or one of his children. He struggles with emotions, but he is a genius at building the future. Elon is proof that you can be strong and still feel sadness, and that is okay. So, kids, Elon Musk teaches us that you don't have to be perfect to be great. You can feel hurt and still help others. You can fall down and still fly high. The most powerful thing isn't money or muscles. It is imagination. Elon once said, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. So, what about you? What will you dream? A rocket? A robot? A new way to help the world? The universe is waiting, and your story might just be the next big thing. If you loved Elon's story, click on our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and join us at Wisdom Wagon for Kids, where little minds grow into big legends.